Hey guys, let's get straight to the point. The first thing I'm gonna do is to post a QR code for the Snapseed preset that I created last time in my video and give you guys the chance to download the preset for free to turn your digital photos into a disposable photo kind of look. A lot of people actually really like that preset and that video, so thank you so much for your support. So definitely play the QR code on a separate display or a TV screen and open up Snapseed on your phone to scan the QR code to get the preset for free. So let's jump straight into how to save presets or export presets in a QR code form so you can share your presets with your friends and family in the future. First, open Snapseed and open any photo on your device because Snapseed requires that in order for you to create any preset export or import any presets even if you want to just scan the QR code that's just the requirement so open up any image on your photo album and then you'll be brought to this page where it says looks at the bottom left this is where all your presets are saved including the Snapseed's original presets so this is an image before editing or applying any presets on I'm gonna choose the preset that I created last time and it's under Canon A560 that's the name of the camera but this is the look of the disposable kind of photo look. It's at the bottom left, I'm gonna tap onto it. And you can see that with this preset, this is how I apply to all the images using that camera, especially using flash to create this disposable look. This is after editing or applying the preset. This is before applying the preset. Okay, in order to save the preset, you have to actually tap onto the check mark to apply the preset onto the image first. And then at the bottom bar, you just move it all the way to the right and you will see this plus sign. You just tap onto the plus sign and name the preset any way you want and tap on OK and then it will be saved to the bottom right of all the presets. This is how you save it. In order to export it, it's actually on a different page, but it's really, really simple. All you need to do is to tap onto the square icon with the arrow at the top right and you'll see all the options to undo the step or to revert the picture into the original form and you also have QR look, not QR code at the bottom. If you tap onto it, this is where you can create your QR look. If you tap onto create QR look, that will bring you to the page where there is the image in the background and also a QR code in order for people to scan that QR code or you guys to scan my QR code to get the preset. So once you have that saved or shared, you can save this image. I have a save screenshot and then you guys can just share it to your friends and family and that way you can share the preset including, including all the layers, all the uh, colors, all the curves in the preset onto the image so they can actually see all the layers in there. Let's take a look and see how we're going to scan a preset onto an image. Before I do that, I'm going to revert this image and turn it back to the original form before putting on the preset or any kind of editing. So this is the original image. And then I'm going to open up the QR code that I saved on a separate device because you do need to use your camera on your phone to scan the QR code. So now I have the QR code open on my iPad and I'm just going to tap onto the square at the top right with the arrow sign and tap onto QR look. This time we're not going to tap on create QR look, we're going to scan QR look. Once you have that ready, your camera will be searching for a QR code with a square thing. And then all you need to do is to get close to the QR code. I didn't even like get to the QR code, as you can see. So now I have the preset there. This is exactly the preset that I created. So this is before, this is after. If you tap onto the same square with the arrow at the top right, you will see that by tapping onto view edit, all the layers are there. But before you hit OK or exit or export the, the photo, remember to save the preset on your device because as you can see, the preset is just scanned on this image but not saved. So tap onto the plus sign and then name it, name the preset. I'm just gonna tap or type in test two. And now I have the preset saved on your device for your future photos. This way you can apply this preset onto all your photos you want. It's now saved on your device. So definitely check this out. And I have one quick suggestion. If you want to preserve all the presets that you like, definitely keep the QR code exported. If you created your own preset, try to export a QR code for that look and then save it somewhere so you don't lose it in the future just in case if anything happened to your Snapseed or your phone 
then you can still have the preset saved. I have multiple presets saved on my device already. If you guys are interested in these kind of videos, definitely let me know in the comment section below and I will share more looks on Snapseed with you guys on the, with the QR code. That's it, that's how you save, export and import QR look or the preset onto Snapseed. Thank you so much for watching. Um, thank you so much for supporting the previous video. That's why I was inspired by you guys to create this video to share the look that I created in the last video because I did not know that you can actually export the QR code and share the preset. So thank you so much for inspiring me to do this video here. If you have any comment or questions or if you like this kind of video, let me know in the comment section below and I'll definitely share more looks on Snapseed with you guys or any platform. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.